What's up, Shaq? Um, we had a post on here where people were talking about the Holsa Forma chains. And uh, you get a lot of butthurt steel guys. I don't know what, what's up with these guys, but oh, they're copies of steel chains and they're made in China. They're not that good. And, man, you guys ain't fooling nobody. You don't, you haven't ran them. You wouldn't even know when to hold it. So uh, need to stop, you know. I want to give you a look at them, and I've been running these chains. Uh, the G660 I bought had one of their chains on it. Of course, I was skeptical of the saw when I got it, and the more I ran it and ran it, after about 20 tanks of fuel going through it, I'm like, okay, so this thing is going to hold up, and it's consistent and powerful. So, But the chain, it was one of their chains on it, and I thought, okay, this isn't going to be nothing like a... a you know, Oregon, steel, whatever, you know. I'm not going to get into bait with chains better because I've had good luck with any brand just about. Um, I was surprised. It held up. I was cutting dirty wood, dirty oak. It sat for a couple of years because we have to let it season out uh, so it can be burnt through a wood boiler. The chains held up. They held up better than the Oregon, which the old Oregons tend to be just a hair soft, but I don't have any trouble with cutting several tanks of fuel before they need touched up unless I actually hit something, then they need really sharpened. But I have no problem with those. But these are harder. The teeth are hard. They're hard enough that I notice the, they kill my files quicker. You know, the files don't last as long. So I bought a few more, and people were talking about the shipping. Well, the shipping will cost you almost as much as all this and that, and it won't be worth it. Well, my last order on chains from them, I ordered two 28-inch chains, 92 drivers for my 620p Echo, because I like the chains. Uh, I ordered a 25-inch bar to fit a steel, too, on that order, one of the new shiny bars I got. They're not bad bars. I'm not going to tell you that's a Sumera or... Uh, Sugihara because it's not but you know not bad bars for the money just as good as an Oregon I have no problem with Oregon bars and bars generally holding up that mine don't flare out uh, I don't have all the problems that other people are complaining that are just brand loyal to something you know they always have all this feelings and input on something but no evidence of anything to back up what they claim so what I'm going to do here right now is going to show you what these chains look like. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos of my 660 cut, you've seen the chain in action. It cuts just as good as any other full chisel chain out there. So what I'm going to do is open one of these boxes here. And what I got here is a 84 driver link. Let's see if I can get that to come in good 84 driver link 24 inch bar 58 groove chain and as you can see this is in the package still I'm going to take this out And show it to you. These chains are pretty decent quality and for the price not bad but I ordered uh, two 28 inch chains, uh, a 25 inch bar and my total price with shipping was $99. I don't think that's bad at all. Uh, let me see if I can get you some more light here. There we go. Take a look at this. Oh boy. That just does not want to focus.
these chains are excellent. There's nothing wrong with them. They're not soft. They hold an edge. Uh, the cutters are nice on them. And there's German technology behind these. They're not, I don't believe that uh, they're being produced right in China anymore. These are a step up in what they used to have. I wish this thing would focus in better. Maybe if I get closer and it focuses on me, maybe that's better. And I currently have several of these chains. Uh, I was running Oregon uh, LGX. I don't run the LP or LPX as they call it now. It used to be known as uh, LGX or LG and LP and then they switched to two L LGX and LPX. And basically almost the same chain but I like these better uh, I could if I didn't couldn't get these I would run the uh, Oregon's new chain um, I want to call it power cut maybe I'm wrong I have to I got a name I'm blank on the name right now it's, it's not, you know I'm not following it but I'd run one of those over the LGX which you know as far as the LGX goes, I have no problem. I ran those for years. I have several of them laying around. They cut fine, and they don't dull nowhere near as fast as what people claim. And you know anything. I'm seeing more and more like guys arguing that steel bar oil is better than any other oil, and oh, the fur the the steel two and one files are great. Steel invented those. No, it was fur that invented them. It wasn't them. Um, you know, everything they make and put their name on it is the greatest thing in the world. And you can't tell these people any different. They come in and troll anything that doesn't say a name brand on it. You know, and that's been one of my biggest issues with steel fans is they're, most of them are, uh, what can we just say, dicks? Anyway, uh, not all of them are that way, fortunately. And we got a lot of good members here that ain't that way and ain't on the Kool-Aid and realize us good models and bad models and all brands but they're good chains I run them I use them and I'm gonna stick with them for the price I believe I paid 13 something for the chain and plus the shipping and like I said the bar and the chain they I think they're shipping from the United States somewhere or something because when I ordered the last ones I mean they were here within a week you know when I, when I ordered mine last saws it took them a while to get here you know what i mean so those are definitely i don't believe they're coming from the same place uh, i may be wrong but it seems awful funny those got here so quick and i waited on everything else but you know i've ordered i've had saws coming from there I've probably about nine different farmer tech saws i've had shipped uh i've had uh some um, the what do you call it the alaskan sawmill type Saw, you know, chainsaw mill. I had it shipped. It took a while too, quite a while. But uh, yeah, I think the chains are a little quicker. So there it is. Uh, listen to the nonsense if you want or don't. But you know, the talk that you're hearing about these chains and people putting them down, most people haven't run them. They're skeptical right off the bat, haven't tried it, have no idea. You know, they have an opinion on something they haven't even handled. Keep that in mind. I'm gone.